The U.S. Air Force, USAF, has received the newest electronic warfare, EW, aircraft EC-37B Compass Call from contractors BAE Systems and L3 Harris Technologies. This is the first of 10 units ordered for use by Air Combat Command, ACC. Once accepted, the aircraft will begin combined developmental and operational testing at the USAF. The new EC-37B fleet will replace the EC-130 aircraft belonging to the Air Combat Command which are decades old and are no longer used. BAE builds electronic attack components on the new Compass Call in Hudson, New Hampshire. Meanwhile L3 Harris integrated the mission-specific hardware into a Gulfstream G550 business jet at its facility in Waco, Texas. Compass Call will be asked to carry out various EW missions to disrupt enemy signals, including communications, radar and navigation systems. BAE said in its release that this includes suppressing enemy air defenses by blocking their ability to transmit information between weapons systems and command and control networks. ACC Commander General Mark Kelly said the EC-37B's jamming capabilities would protect friendly ships and aircraft from enemy attacks and allow them to get closer to their targets. The mission and capabilities of the EC-37B will serve the same role as the EC-130. However, the increase in altitude and speed that will occur with the EC-37B will make it a significant improvement over its predecessor. The EC-130 is capable of flying to a height of 25,000 feet and can fly at speeds of up to 300 miles per hour. Meanwhile, the G550 that Compass call you up to more than 40,000 feet and is almost double the speed of the EC-130. In this way, the scope of Compass Call's role is wider. Kelly said testing of the EC-37B will primarily focus on ensuring its mission systems integration is working properly. While the structure of the Gulfstream G550 used to build it is known as a sturdy aircraft. This includes ensuring the new Compass Call systems can communicate with each other at the right time and that their jamming capabilities are working and not interfering with the aircraft's environmental systems. In the future, this aircraft will serve alongside the F-35 and F-15.